Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a rather different video. Namely, we are going to take a look at a, uh, an old camera I found when uh, organizing my room. So this is the Olympus C350 uh, Zoom. It's the, a digital camera. It uses an XD picture card from Fujifilm. A whopping 128 megabytes of storage. Uh, so not a lot, it's powered by uh, two AA batteries, so uh, the batteries died really quick, so you, uh, I think you got um, around 50 to 70 photos out of it without the uh, use of the flashlight. So the camera uses a digital CCD uh, sensor with uh, 3.2 megapixels, um, so yeah. It's still working and as you can see it just takes uh, pictures, there you go, it's, uh, it zooms, it's an uh, optical zoom, so you can see that uh, the thing moves, but yeah the, the battery dies really quickly. Let's uh, take it apart, remove the batteries of course. Remove the XD card. Now the camera uses very tiny screws. Uh, Phillips. The Phillips. I think this is. Yeah, this is too big. I should have. Ah, there you go. A smaller Phillips screwdriver. We can close this one, but there's a screw here. So let's open this uh, puppy up and see what's inside it, because I'm very curious. Now it's an old camera we've been using for a couple of years. And yeah, since this is a fairly old camera, I think it's no... Um, is there a screw? Oh yeah. I think it's no surprise that we've now got a, uh, a different camera than this. Uh, well, I'm not sure if it was cheap, but yeah, you know. Technology has advanced and this isn't really up to date anymore. 3.2 megapixels. I think it has a resolution of around 2,500 by 2,000 or something. Not the biggest image, which has of course advantages if you would like to uh, upload the image on the internet. But for image quality, it hasn't got really uh, any advantage. So the two screws over here. I think there might be a screw beneath this um, this flap again. No, there wasn't. And this should be the last one, I think. There are no screws here. No screws here. There are two screws down there. But I don't think they're attached to the frame. And I think this might just... There you go. Come loose. It's already starting to, to come loose right here. Now the last thing I want is that when um, it shoots open, everything flies out. So I'm trying to be bit careful here oh there you go there she is damn this is really uh really cramped up in there i wasn't expecting this i think this was uh, amazing technology back then but now yeah you know that technology has advanced and so I have cameras. Let me check where I can. Um, I think we can even remove this as a, a whole module. I 
There are a couple of screws down here into the plastic. And I think you go. If I get my tongue at the right angle, I can take out the whole camera in one piece. Would be my guess. I think they use Loctite for the, those screws because they're really harsh to get out. I'm guessing that somehow I should be able to take out the whole assembly. Now it's it's moving, but something's preventing me from taking it out as a whole piece. Maybe another screw. And there are a few screws here and there, but those are screws that are connecting the PCB to uh, the, the plastic that's, ah, that's underneath it. And yeah, I also like to take that out. Look, if I push at the lens, the whole thing moves. So we're getting close, but we're not. Yeah, I think I know. Yeah, there's a screw down here. Maybe with my tongue at the right angle, I can take it out. Is it out? Oh, it's definitely looser. I'm hoping I don't damage the PCB. There you go. So that it. No, no. Oh well. Oh, jeez. Fuck. Well, I think that was the uh, capacitor of the. Uh, the flashlight. Oh, damn! Yeah, I felt it all the way, <laughs> all the way down. Uh, let's discharge that one. So batteries are out. So, jeez. Ah, uh, I think it's discharged. Yeah, well, fucking hell, man. Holy shit. Yeah, I forgot that uh, there was a flashlight in there. That's an old flashlight. So, yeah. Kids, discharge the flashlight capacitor before you try to do this. Otherwise, uh, you will get shocked. Now, I was in luck that I was only... Uh, using uh, one hand to uh, open it. Uh, I can see the screw here. Uh. Otherwise, ah, there you go. I think if I've uh, used two hands, the capacitor might have discharged through my body. And I'm not sure what would happen then. Well, I will get a shock definitely, but I'm not sure what the voltage was. But it was quite a bang. Mm. Oh, there's another one over here. 
also discharged. This one's also discharged. This is the battery. Yeah. Now the screen is from Casio. How interesting. Something's preventing it from going apart. Maybe if I take the screws out that are inside the battery. Hold on. Quite hard to reach. Especially since I'm shaking. Alright, so two screws. No, that uh, those screws weren't the problem. I'm not sure if I need to free the other side first and then the uh, and then the, the top side or the top side first and then the other side. But there are no more screws around here. Besides the screws going into the plastic one, well, let's take one of those screws out and see how long the screw is. Yeah, I don't think long enough. Yeah, it will loosen the, the screen, and we don't want that. Let's put this back together. Screwdriver, come on. Why isn't it magnetic? All right. I really don't want to use violence, but I'm not sure why the thing isn't coming apart. It's, it's something in the corner. Maybe it's just the plug that needs to be pushed downwards or into the inside first. And then well anyway let's just remove the top board and then uh, go from that So the board consists of a few screws and a few ribbon cables or flat flex cables. The board is it also contains a USB interface that you could use to uh, transfer the photos. So if you didn't have a um, connector or the, uh, the adapter to um, USB to uh, XD card adapter. You could also use the camera. So now I do think we have got to take the screen screws out. 
Screen definitely uh, comes out. Oh, there's uh, a screw hidden underneath the, the screen. All right, so the screen, Casio, uh, it's Mark II. So I guess that's some kind of model. Are we able to take out this board now? Yeah, I th think we are. After removing the um, ribbon cables, there's a analog uh, devices uh, chip, Sanyo and Elpida. I think that's the um, the RAM that this device has. No, there's no screws beneath the. Uh, this thing, so place it back. Here we've got your uh, your viewfinder, just the usual uh, thingies. But why is it holding? Yeah, it's the, this ribbon cable. So undo it really carefully, like that. It's a bit looser, but there's one over here as well. Nice. Now we're still not allowed to remove it. Why is that? I think because of oh, hey. So we were needed to take out those screws because they did pierce the the whole structure, as we can see now. How did they put the screen on? No, not like that. Like this. Like this. Yes. And you can see the, um, the wire for the uh, open and close detection mechanism. And just that's just a, a switch. Oh. That is the zoom thing, I guess. Need to position it right though. Ah. Like this, yes. So yeah, that was uh, what I was looking for. There's your camera, one compact uh, small module. Uh, you can see the uh, the zoom uh, motors over here, the various interfaces, and high voltage isolation. As uh, I've just experienced, there's high voltage on the board. Oops. So let me try to take off this tougher this uh, top PCB so maybe we can see something of the um, high voltage circuitry what's that? I think that's the speaker I think this is the uh, piezo element, would be my guess. 
oh down in there there's a, a, a big gap uh, let me try to zoom in without losing focus down in here you can see letters of a uh, capacitor um, and I think for it to be accessible we need to take out the motor assembly including the sensor assembly and I don't really want to do that and I just heard something fall oh well if you're missing screws then we know uh, where they went so yeah that's the um, I think there are um, high voltage transformers down there and for the uh, for the flashlight because this is a uh, I think a halogen flashlight uh, with high voltages so let's put it back together the, including the uh, high voltage shielding well what you call shielding like this Please tell me it is. Or that I can just place it in there. So that's one screw. Yeah, those are the uh, the zoom uh, button pads and the rubber dome um, uh, the rubber domes are touching them, them and you know just like a, a keyboard and this should be your two uh, is it? yeah it's supposed to be two uh, yeah, this is a two phase button. As you can see, this is one, and now so focus shoot. Really interesting to uh, actually see that button. It's just a, uh, a normal SMD button, wasn't expecting it. Now, let's place the ribbon cables back where they belong. Like that, that's one. Now the other one slides in. Uh, this is for the, I think this is for the lens control. I don't think this is for the uh, image sensor, the ribbon cable. Zoom out a bit. Um, because I guess that those are way too ma uh, too. Uh, I don't think that those are enough lines for the uh, for the whole image uh, to be transported. I'm starting to lose track which screw went where, which is um, inevitable. I think this one goes right here. like that so now we shouldn't forget to plug in the um, yeah it's basically an on-off slider if you will like that so that's plugged in
And this is going to be a challenge with the, um, the buttons and such. And the different connectors and Two, three. No. Um, that uh, scared the hell out of me. Not sure what it was, but I think there were a few gaps. Still a little bit charged up, just like the, the huge other cap. Yeah, it's back in place. And we forgot to add the stupid thing. There goes the button. It's only the top cover. Wow. Ow. Shit. You know, this is going to be a bloody day. I just poked myself with the, the sharp edges of the button, of the button, the button. seem to figure out what the orientation was of the top shielding and I think it was like this this is really necessary for, for to have that thing yeah this is the to click element I think yeah this is the two click element mm. Oh well, fuck that button. Um, need to take that thing out though. So I'm curious if it still takes photos, don't think so, 
Uh, oh, we already got that screw. Nice. Three screws. Those three, I guess. Three screws? No, two screws. Then, that should be those one. No. These one. I lost one. Oh well, I guess that was the camera. There's a screw inside there, not wanting to come out. Alright, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video of the, the camera. I'm not going to power it on, uh, especially since uh, the high voltage circuitry is, uh, could be a bit damaged because of the, that uh, sudden discharge and my shock. Um, and a couple of screws fell in there, so I don't think it's safe uh, enough to uh, power it up again. So I hope you like this type of video. Uh, if you've got any suggestions on what to take apart next, feel free to uh, leave them down below in the comments. And um, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye!